Hey everyone, Son of Beast here, and I'm Wood Spoonie, and this is NBA 2K24 on 2K Sports. Hey everybody, Son of Beast along with Wood Spoonie and Terry Crews, we're happy to have you back. And this is where it all comes down to the final game of the regular season of 2K Sports. That means we have the last two and we're ready for the Eastern Conference Showdown. Right in between the two alleys that they have been playing back in the postseason and regular season. It's the Miami Heat facing against the Boston Celtics. Now let's talk about this one here. For, this, for the Heat, they definitely have won each of the games that they are pulling all the wins to get back into the postseason for another game. And they are looking to see if they could try to like take out the number defending champion of 2021 of Chris Staff, Porzingis, and Giannis on a Kupo. They are looking to get right into this game if they wanted to revenge it back. Now, the other team I'm not even seeing is what happens to the other player that goes from Robert Williams. And now, Chris Staff, Porzingis wants to play with the Celtics and get right to prove his effort. Well, in that case, I'm not sure if this is going to ever lead to its down victim, but let's say this. This might be a difficult range that they are trying to do their job. This offense might be a true fine, but all that cases of scenarios, it might be a hard one to take. Hmm. Well, I'm not really sure how this is going to happen, because this one is going to be a lot difficult and challenging to do this. Will Miami Heat get back in to win for this part of a season in the play-in tournaments before the playoffs? Well, I'm guessing that the Miami Heat's going to definitely take the strong over by Orlando Magic. You know what? I'm going to say that Miami Heat is going to definitely get back into the playoff game and looking for another way to try to stop the improvement. Well, here's the thing now, because this is what happens that Kyle Lowry and Caleb Martin are out and they are with the Charlotte Hornets on the other side. One player and the other player from a different team. But we have no idea what will it will be for Caleb Martin. Well, in our casing it's definitely Hall of Fame, but you can't just make the win, you got the best player teams in time. Right now we starting lineups. We have his Miami Heat, Terry Rozier the third, Tyler Hero, Jimmy Butler, Nikola Jojic, and Bam onto Bayer. On the other side, we have for Boston Celtics, it's Drew Holiday, Derek White, Jaden Brown, Jason Tatum, and Kristaps Porzingis. Now, let's say about this. Do you guys think who's going to win for this game? So, let's point out with you. What do you what's your take there, Wood Spoonie? Well, I'm guessing, you know what? Uh, there's another great way that they're trying to keep this one here going. And you know what? This is what the team is. Uh, go for Tatum, baby. I'm Tatum it is. Oh, I would never agree with that one if I were you. Well, you know, this is whatever happens now. They're going to get this thing done right away. What is your take there, there Son of Beast? I, I'm, guessing, I'm guessing the Boston Celtics are going to get a lot of the victims done. We're going to shut them down here right, right away to the effort. And this one is mine. Because Boston Celtics, Tatum, you has to take all the what he can. Oh, don't do that. Oh, my. Well, let's have your other take, Terry. What do you got? Well, I'm going to have to go with the Miami Heat. Here, there's one way that Jimmy Butler's not going to give up at this point. If they want to do it on their own, and he's going to have to try it himself and see what he can do. There might be another changeout for that occasionally, but you'll never know what's going to happen. Because Bam out of bio, you, you never see what he's coming. He's, he's rejecting out of it. Watch out for him. Well, well, in that case, I guess they, these guys have some uh, other plan idea. I'm guessing it's going to be all for everything. You are, let's see how this one goes. And standing by, I will have this Brian Anderson, along with the 2K Sports crew and Ali LaForce, will be at the sideline for tonight's game. And coming up for the halftime show will be Irvin Johnson with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shag O'Neal. We'll see you all later for the post game of the season for after the fourth quarter. So keep your eyes peeled 
right ahead. Let's get started. See you all later, folks. Time for the Eastern Conference Showdown. Two K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Greetings, everyone. Welcome to Two K Sports and another exciting edition of NBA Ball. In this game, we'll see the Boston Celtics going up against the Miami Heat, alongside Grant Hill and Brent Barry. I'm Brian Anderson. Also with us tonight, our reporter Ali LaForce. And let's check Miami's starting lineup. Hero and Butler make up the perimeter pair. Then it's Terry Rozier. Then it's Bam Adebayo. And it's Jovic in at the four. And for the Celtics, White and Brown with the two and the three. Kristaps Porzingis out there with Jason Tatum. And it's Holiday in at the point. Two veteran squads here going head to head, Brett. How does that affect what you expect from this game? This could be a very cerebral game, maybe some cat and mouse stuff going on with how much experience is on the floor. There should be plenty of high IQ ball play out there. Back to Tatum, launches it, and Hero grabs the board. Here's Jovic, rounded by Tatum. Out of Io. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. Down low. White. And Derek White. He's really become a better all around player. Brown's passing continues to evolve. Nice find. Here's Butler. And the left is good on the glass. And setting the tempo with an assertive move like. Where was the defense on that play? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is. Inexcusable. Tatum passes to Brown. Holiday surveying the floor. Outside Tatum. Shot clock at six. Jason Tatum! Mid-range is an area that you'd like to see Tatum exploit even more. Rogier, pass to Adebayo. Rozier outside. Pass to Adebayo. Here's Jovic, pounded by Tatum. Count it! Terry Rozier, the shot for three. The mentality of Rozier on full display. Knows he can make the shot when it opens up. When talking about the Celtics, you'd have to say they have a unique one-two punch, Grant. Yeah, I mean, think about it, B.A., to have Tatum on one wing and Brown on the other. Jalen Brown! They complement each other so well. Rozier, pass to Butler. And he makes it Cherry Rozier. Slam dunk! Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler enjoys making plays. Pass to Holiday. Inside. Oh, got a piece of it. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Miami ball. And over the last 10 games, these are the league's best rebounding squads. The Celtics, third. And over the last 10 games, this team has brought it to the class. Everyone is getting involved and trying to help one another secure boards. The Heat have gone three of five here in the opening quarter. Pass to Adebayo. Hero outside. Back to Rozier. Adebayo passes to Rozier. And here's Butler. Puts it up from 17. And again, it's going to be converted. Well, Butler can't get into the paint. He's got some offensive options. He has the touch from the mid range. White finds Brown. Over Hero. And Five shots. Here's Hero. And you look at his numbers, just over 21 a game. Here's Jovic. Off target from outside. So disruptive defensively out beyond the arc. Yeah, you gotta like how he hustled the guard out on the perimeter. Definitely. Jason Tatum! Trying to limit Tatum's impact on the low block. Oh, there it was. He's a dangerous player there on the inside. Here's Hero. 
that one rolls around and rims out. That's a decent look for him. He just couldn't convert. Right now, firing on all cylinders. Yeah, there's a nice ball to this offense right now. Celtics ball. Well, a chance to check out some stats for Terry Rozier. This was personal foul. Huge Super Bowl first team foul. Oh my, VA. Line for three Killer Browns. The Celtics made as good a line for two shots. You can make round. That's a lot to live up to, but he has a lot of talent. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Three throws good. All right, Grant, we're now in the middle of the season. Gordon Lots Miami Heat, number 55, everyone, Duncan Robinson, and number 15, Joe Jockas Jr. New substitutions for the Boston Celtics. Celtics. But a few number 42, Jimmy Butler. Number 42, Al Horford. Number 42, Jimmy Butler. 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 Well, Grant, the pace that the Heat like to play is a little slower compared to other teams. Yeah, be it. Time out, Miami. Definitely. They don't just jack up shots and run quick plays. They're very patient, and they look for the best scoring option. And the Heat call time here. And for the Celtics, Grant, when it comes to something like rebounding, it's a total team effort. Well, it's part of their personnel strategy, B.A. Get wings and guards that have length and toughness, which allows them to control the glass and switch just about everything defensively. It's February. Let's see how things are shaping up in the East. You take a look at the Celtics. They've been enjoying a truly spectacular run this season, sitting on top of the mountain in the first place spot. And check it out, Miami. They're holding on to the seventh seed. Well, right now for Boston, they just have serious hopes for the outcome of this season. They're focused on putting up a banner. Massive amount of confidence, tremendous swagger with this team. They believe in themselves. That might be all it takes to get them where they want to go. Jimmy, ball an open look. Is this wrong? got six. Jerry and and the ball. They got what they wanted, and Butler put the finishing touches on it. Right, the pass to Horford. Here's Tatum. Puts up a deep three. Yes. Three, two, four, three! And it's Rozier with the ball for the Miami Heat. Trailing by four. Pass to Adebayo. Robinson finds some space. And it's Jason Tatum with the rebound. So weird. Sometimes when you get that much time, it can throw you off just as much as having no time. Outside White, just five on the clock. And it's Miami with a rebound. Now Butler against Sacramento. Jimmy Butler. He's really on his game. Forward size with guard. Two minutes for me in the first. Two minutes. He can manipulate the ball there. Outside Tatum. And here's Holiday. 43 left to play in the first quarter. Here's Brown. To the Browns! Brown, Derek White. Green shooter. All Brown needs is some separation, and he's ready to pull up. And Drew Holiday gets the foul. Well, and Boston, Drew Holiday, his first foul. His first foul. First team for Boston. First team foul. First team comes in for Holiday. New substitution for the Celtics. Number 11. Brayton Butcher and number 40, Luke Cornett. A lot of bio from long range. And it's Cornett with a rebound. Austin has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Horford outside. Pass to Pritchard. Shoots over Robinson. Pritchard, no good. The Heat have got half their attempts to go. Six of 12. 
White against Robinson. Softly Duncan Robinson. Silky floater from Duncan Robinson. The Celtics have gotten seven of their ten shots to fall. White, the pass to Cornette. Here's Pritchard. Down low. Robinson with a steal. To the paint. Here's Hawkins. Jared Hawkins. One hand. Wow, he makes it look easy. Yeah, one part of Duncan Robinson's game doesn't get talked about enough. He is willing to find open teammate. Warford outside. Brown looking around. Pass to Pritchard. White for three. Number 40. Number 40. It's more sports goal. First team, second team foul. The line for Miami. Jimmy Baller. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. New substitution for the Boston Celtics. Number 30, Sam Hauser. 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 hits them both. Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. Here's Pritchard. Here's Cornette. Count the basket. Lou Cornette. The only thing that Payton Pritchard. That's the end of the first. first Boston Celtics 22. And Miami Heat 19. Stay with us now as we get set to bring you quarter number two after this. Close game, but we'll get to you shortly after this. Enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even on the scoreboard so far. And for the Celtics here, guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? Oh, what a first quarter. You love their willingness to make the extra pass. So much unselfish play out there. The coaching staff has to be thrilled with that. Miami trailing. And this summer, one of the Heat's own, Dwayne Wade, inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame. Brand. What an amazing Josh Richardson performer Dwayne for three. Wade was during his entire Assisted career. 13-time All-Star, three-time champion, and he brought the organization their first title. That just says it right there. Dwayne Wade, the foundation, the rock, the Miami Heat. Horford at the four, with Porzingis at the five. Oh, Horford! And it's Hauser. Miles on Chris at Porzingis. His first four small foul. Jason Tatum, he's checked in for Boston. New substitution for Boston Celtics. Coming on to the floor for the Celtics. Jason Tatum. Now here's Hero. Still no points. Porzingis grabs the board. Outside Tatum. Pass to Hauser. Up top Tatum. He's guarded by Martin. Passes to Holiday. Clock at six. Here's Pritchard. Second shot opportunity. Good D by Richardson. Hero outside. Miami. No good that time either. And so it's Porzingis with it. He brings it up for the Boston Celtics. Fresh off a win against the Pacers. They were lights out from beyond the arc, and they spaced the floor beautifully in that one. That made the defense work. Hey there, Butcher! Getting any advantage they could against the team that shot it well. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie the Force. Well, Bam Adebayo is a defensive force. Coach Eric Spolster said, quote, well, he makes Boston foul. Different Jason Tatum. Baseball's personal foul. Third team foul. 
question. How many guys can New substitution for the Celtics. Number seven. That list. Shailen Brown. Unto itself, Brian. Yeah, very special, Ali. Thanks for that. And the Celtics making a change here. Brown's checked in. Adebayo's checked in for Miami. Rozier comes in for Richardson. Second quarter, a little over a minute and a half in. Here's Rozier. Kicks it to Hero. Let's go with a three. And Pritchard pulls it down. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's the shot he typically makes. Outside Porzingis. Over out bio. Chris Porzingis. It's a six-point Celtic lead. But he's capable of draining shots in bunches, and that time he does it from the mid-range. Martin finds Rozier. It's an open Terry Rozier. Rozier's got third. seven points in the game. The Celtics have gone three of five since the beginning of the second. Tatum with it. He picked up 30 points in their last win against Indiana. Yeah, but there's always this point you got to look at. Where did he also impact the game? It was on the rebounding end of the floor. A tremendous performance there. Because of his quick reactions, he was able to stay with the opponent and contest the shot. Talk about versatility on offense a lot, but how about on defense? And he takes pride in making an impact down there. And for the Celtics, they're shooting at a very efficient 67%. Holiday passes to Pritchard. Now here's Tatum. 4-3. Oh. saying is defense wins championships but in this day and age don't you need both no question ba you definitely do i mean we've seen plenty of great defenses they flame out in the playoffs because they couldn't put up points defense alone isn't enough you need a balance of both you know this one turns to be a great first half a great first half this is like a close game of the quarter, but looking at it over, you're never going to get there done. And lately, if you wanted to like put a revenge on your own, you just got to do on your, your best shot to try to keep that one coming. Well, I don't know if it is, but <laughs> hi, this is what everyone does for now. Well, here's the thing right out here, guys. If there's another block coming in for the Celtics or for the Heat, watch out for Bam Adebayo. He might be getting a block out of him. That he might start up his appearance for his first rejection of the game. Not sure what's going to happen, but you'll never know what it's going to be. Uh, okay, I, I guess you might be uh, Joey's in the box out of Justin Cockies. But you'll never know. Let's see what happens right now as we go back to Brian Anderson with new changeup. Back to you. Yeah, well, while we have a second, let's take a quick peek at the rebounding numbers for Kevin Love. It's not a great trend for him. Not rebounding nearly as effectively anymore. Maybe it's his effort, or who knows, but that's something that needs to change. Rozier against Holiday. Hero for three. And the Tyler Hero goes. for three. They're having more success with the three-point shot here in the second quarter as they try to cut into this lead. What makes Tyler Hero so dangerous, Brent, is his ability to catch fire. Foul on my head. Yeah, I would say it's an inferno. It is first personal foul. Get it going. First, first team, team foul. Threes. He's got a pull-up game. Line for the Celtics. Chris Epp, Porzingis. For a moment to check Two out shots. the scoring breakdown for the Celtics. They've done a great job facilitating shooters. Their early game has seen a lot of hot passes and has kept the defense guessing as well. well. A lot of the players are doing a good job as well of scanning the interior part of the paint. All those inside looks, those are paying off. No good on the free throw. New substitution on the court for the Celtics. A whole lot. Yeah, knocks down the three ball, can defend inside, and causes some problems with his lane. Number nine. Makes smart passes. Derek White. He knows the league and he knows the tendency. Substitution for Miami Heat. Is very Number 22. And is getting better. Jimmy Butler. White, he's checked in for Boston. And Miami also making a switch. Butler's checked in. And he's good on the second. Well, some people call Porzingis a unicorn and... They're not wrong. His terrific stature and his shooting ability, that is a rare combination. Now here's Rozier. 
Seven points in the game. And a bio. No good. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the board. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by the team. Ball. And here's a rundown of the teams that have not wasted their opportunities at the line in the last month. The Heat, fourth. And looking at last month, this team really got it done from the charity strike. Whenever you foul them, they made sure to make you pay for that mistake. Outside Butler. Back to Rozier. Takes the three. Porzingis grabs the board. Porzingis has got six rebounds in the game. Here's White. Going in. You have to at least try to protect the rim. Good job to recognize the opportunity. That's just very solid offense. Here's Porzingis. Porzingis oh, just pouring it on here. Using the Tito. To the inside. And hey, I'm on a bike. Bio. This is Rose. This is Sue. No reason to get fancy. Yeah, he's just looking to find shots and produce for his team. Now here's Holiday. No made baskets yet. On the wing, Tatum. Two minutes, two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Hero against White. Six on the shot clock. Pass to Tatum. Oh, Jason! of Tatum. Now Derek White. Handy on the glass. Rozier against White. And he lobs it up top. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Tatum passes to White. Off target. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. And it's Rozier with the ball for the Miami Heat. Nine point game. It's off to Washington after this one where they will face the Wizards. That'll wrap up the short two-game road trip. Well, we always hear about heat culture. How would you define it, Brett? Well, I think what they do is just find guys who are hungry, and then they do a great job of starving you during the year. Drew Holiday! Yeah, to this, that was a guess. If you're a member of the Miami Heat, that includes playing time. Timeout, the Miami Heat. Miami decides to talk it over. And things are always changing throughout a game. Teams have to adjust on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. So it looks like it's a great start. It's out there. It looks like the Celtics might be rising it up So There could be a great line. Coming up later will be the halftime report. As right now, we get this thing set. And we will have another great opportunity to have a start range for the Celtics. They are racing it up towards in the playoff spot. The top of the mountain and does all for the team to be up in first place in the Eastern Conference. But there's another way that the Heat might strike back. Well, I don't know if it will be, but let's find out just in case. Because without Kevin Love, well, unfortunately now, Jovic might be able to take over this. You'll never know what's going to come up like that. Yeah, hopefully you're not, Gates. Well, that's right now Kenny and Jeff Smith along with Rory Johnson and Jack O'Neill. We'll see you all later for the post-game show. Halftime's coming up after the first half. Some changes here for the Celtics. Horford comes in for Jason Tatum, and it's Hauser in for Brown. On the wing, Richardson. He's covered by Holiday. Butler passes to Richardson. Knocks it loose. It's stolen by Holiday. Here's Horford. That one is off. Ooh, good work defensively by Butler. Robinson on the wing. Played it in. Duncan Robinson. Robinson. Robinson unfazed by the defense, even though he was contested. Shot and game clock separated by five. Outside White. Back to Holiday. From deep.
after sharing the ball and creating good shots. Here's Butler. Rebounded by the Celtics. Porzingis has got a seventh rebound here tonight. The shot no good. And that's Celtics it. The first half is closed. Celtics Boston out. Celtics 43. And time now for Miami the Heat with the 31. Soon to follow on to K Sports. The 2K Sports, Sports Halftime Show. Hey everybody, welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Program. I'm Ernie Jones and alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jetsman. There was no stopping Jason Tatum in the first half. He had 12 points, 5 rebounds, and 2 assists. So far, he's played a big role for his team here. And let's get your thoughts, big fella, on the Celtics. All movement was a real factor for them. They played on Celtics with patience. Guys got shots in the face. And Kenny, what are your thoughts on Miami? Yeah. Was anyone boxing out? I mean, if they didn't box it up like this, they have chips. They're going out there to the rebound. I mean, they got to put bodies on bodies. Four fundamentals. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. And you know, Jason Tatum, he's been really making it happen, guys. I like how they control the tempo and play to his strengths. And this is showing that they're not going to play at anybody else's pace but their own. And the Heat shooting 46%, a decent average so far. Setting the floor for Miami. Hero at Tyler, Bob, you are for a three. Then it's Bam on bio. Then it's Terry Rozier. And it's Jovic in at the four. And what really separates Jimmy Butler as a player is competitive fire, Brett. B.A., you see that wall over there? Holiday! Guess what? He'll do it twice. He'll go through it one way, turn around, and come back. I mean, this guy has got incredible willpower. And when the stakes are highest, he's at his best. So it's Miami now. The Celtics making their last shot. Butler can't get it to go. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Now Holiday. Seven points in the game. They get it again. Rozier against Tatum. Down to five on the shot clock. Some solid defense from Butler. Hard to convert against that kind of defensive pressure. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets Terry there Rozier and the third. And that's just enough. And what I love about Rozier is his fearlessness as a scorer. Inside, outside, in between. It doesn't matter. White, the pass to Brown. Back to White. Now Holiday. Here's Tatum. 12 points for him. Jason Tatum! 14 points for the game. Sweet to be a difference maker. Drew Holiday. Game, and he's been a great option for them on these possessions. Oh! Jimmy, Jimmy Butler for three. For and not wasting any time here. Kicking their offense right back into gear. That's three of four from the field. Back to Tatum. Jason Tatum! Um, Drew Holiday. They have switched between point guard and off guard. And a great field for when guys are open. Now here's Butler. 13 points in the game. Tries a 10 footer. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. Pass to Holiday. Now White. He's guarded by Hero. Oh, there is White. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Hero for three. Called in by Brown. Brown's got four rebounds now. All right, let's get a report from Allie. The Celtics have terrific depth. They have a number of reserves who could start for other teams. All-star Jason Tatum said, those guys sacrificing coming off the bench, I think that just speaks volumes to the commitment that we have to be our best and to playing our standard every night. Brian? That's what it takes, Allie, right? Jalen Brown! Affecting Brown, in addition to physically, mentally Jalen is so strong. 
Comes to Butler. Here's Jovic. Here's Rozier. He's got nine. Hero. Kept alive. The three is up. Here's Butler. Kicks it to Hero. From behind the arc. And a great Tyler assist. Tyler Hero with three. Assist from fourth assist Hero. This one. So his third triple Time out. Celtics. Success from out there in the second half. And Boston calls time here. Yeah, the NBA's TV deal expires after next season. What are you hearing about where things are headed, Grant? Well, B.A., the league seems focused on greater access for the fans, especially the cord cutters. So with more games on broadcast TV and possibly a streaming package as well. The NBA on 2K Sports is brought to you by... Your local Kia dealers. The moment that inspires. State Farm. Call or get a free quote at 1 800 State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And by the American Express. Don't live life without it. Some changes for Boston. Cornets checked in for Porzingis. And now it's a position at the court. Luke Gordon. Also makes and a number 11. They in Pritchard. Now here's Brown. Ten points for him. Back to Pritchard. Shoots from the baseline. And it's Martin with the rebound. Miami has gotten 6 of 13 shots to go from outside the arc. And it's stolen by Holiday. Back to Cornet. Pass to Holiday. Outside Tatum from deep three point range. Here's Brown. Ooh! power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Hero, the pass to Rozier. Off target with the three. Well, that's not a shot he's ever going to pass up, and he shouldn't despite the miss. No defender anywhere near him. He's got to shoot. Jalen By opposing their will. For Miami, they've gotten only four of ten shots to fall so far in the third. The hero fires for three and a great Tyler assist by Newell Butler as anyone for goes. three. Butler's got assist number five here tonight. From Jimmy Butler. Relax with their perimeter defense, giving up a lot of three pointers. Here's Cornet, averaging around five points a game. Brown passes to Tatum. Goal! Jason Tatum! Two minutes remaining in for the area. Two minutes. Boston with a rebound. A minute 50 left in the third. To the middle. Brown. And he missed. Brown! From Jason Tatum. Inside. In that respect, they've been the more aggressive team. Three pointer Rozier. Adebayo. Bam Adebayo. Cashes in on the second chance points. Just doesn't feel like Bam Adebayo is 6'9. He covers so much ground. Here's Tatum. The score Jason is Tatum! That basket must be widening out. Time out. He's Miami Heat. Every shot he's putting up this quarter. Time called here. Miami decides to talk it over. Oh my. Their coach does not look happy. And I can guess why. Their interior defense has been struggling. No, they're not preventing them from scoring. And if you can get to a high efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. Well, somebody has to keep on going right now because the Heat, they've got to put pressure in there to get back into the offense. That's not how easy it is that they're trying to get, get into the flow. They're not just doing really well, but that's all it does run out. If they don't do it that much, then they're going to have to lose another straight to get to the point of it for the end of the season before this postseason starts. And that's right, because we do have some upcoming games here. We've got the play-in tournaments that will be coming in right at this moment 
from the bottom of the seeds that we'll be playing here for tonight, starting off with a 7 and 8 version of this game that will go and win to get in to the playoff possession. And the other one will be the 9 and 10 one, when they get started off to play their 8. And this might be one of their biggest ones that they're going to try to keep it on. We'll see what happens in the next game. Back to you guys. Horford, he's checked in for Boston. Hauser comes in for Holiday. The Heat makes it a substitution for the Celtics. Al Horford. 16 three point attempts to get And Sam Hauser. Pass to Hawkins. Some style Martin. Martin as he gets up. Six row, Jalen Hawkins Jr. 105 left in the third quarter. Here's Cornette. He's guarded by Martin. And there's the foul on Miami. Gallup Martin. Coming on Martin. He's first personal foul. Brief pause here. First the team foul. Teams to score again. So over the last. A line for the Celtics. The Luke Cornette. Over the past Two shots. Few weeks, this defense has found itself locked in. They've played hungry and they've played physical. First one falls for him. Shots good from the strike. And the big fellow with the skill level, showing a soft touch at the line. Miami has got four of eight attempts to fall from deep here in the third quarter. Hero outside. Outside Robinson. Three-pointer, no good. And so it's Brown with it. He brings it up for the Boston Celtics. 16-point lead, the largest margin in the game. I thought he was making that so close. That's an aggressive defense. Oh boy. Looks like he was injured there. And you guys know that this is something every player worries about. No matter your age or your ability. Yep, you can do all the stretching and all the strength training. Eat right, train right, but at the end of the day, it's pretty random. Yo, but she's checked in for Miami. New substitution for Miami game. Nicola Bluefinch. It looks like we do have some on couple player, and it looks like somebody's out for the end of the season. And this one will be the end for Miami Heat as Jalen Hawkins Jr. is injured, and it's not their day that they are just playing it for. You know the guy from, from playing it with the UCLA team, not really are better to be performed at, but there is nothing that you're going to try to like keep on going. When you play for this offense, you're never going to get stable, and then you're never going to try to like keep on going with the with the hits of this game. You got to watch out with the injured player. That you got to step out of the way, clean up the floor, and then get it done. Well, in enough cases now. Looks like that this might be the time if we ever see them rebound a gun for the Boston and Miami. We'll see what happens, and there is another change off right in between. Heat have gotten seven of 16 shots to go so far in the third quarter. Hero, right side. Rebound, Boston. There's 21 seconds left to play in the third quarter here. Pass to Pritchard. Now here's Brown. He's guarded by Hero. Back to Pritchard. Hayden Pritchard! Brown's got his fourth assist in this one. Jalen Brown. That's the end of the third quarter. Boston Celtics 67. And Miami Heat. The Celtics will be the lead for the team. And fourth quarter basketball will be coming your way on 2K Sports right after this.
All right, let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. Well, there's a way to break down the defense with the handle, but you could do it with the pass. Prime example of that right there. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. White and Brown with the two of the three. Horford at the four with Porzingis at the five. And it's Pritchard in at the point guard position. And one, four, three! Only increasing the intensity level. And he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. Pass to Butler. Here's Jovic. Here's Robinson. Money from the ring. Okay, no good, Robinson. So as Robinson comes off footwork there to get, the catch, no catch. To get the shot up. Outside White. Outside Brown. Jalen Brown! Three! He to do a better job of smothering those shooters. Richardson's got space. Wasted no time with that shot, but it's off the mark. Austin has gone two of two from outside so far in the fourth. Porzingis passes to White. And here's Horford. Oh, Horford! Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Well, Miami's shooting 44%, a pretty decent clip. On the way, Richardson. To the inside. Yeah, that one's a good. Long Jovic. Jovic has got his first basket. I like seeing Josh Richardson distribute the ball, especially when his teammates are wide open. That makes for an easy pass. Pritchard, the pass to Brown. Back to Pritchard. Here's White. Derek White. They're going old school out there now. Working the mid-range part of the floor. Pass to Butler. The three ball. Buries it from Jimmy three. Jimmy Butler. Nice to see Butler for three. the three ball. This really opens up the rest of his game. Now here's Horford. Brown with it. Jalen Brown! Half, hard to imagine what anyone can do right now to slow him down. The Heat have gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. Pass to Jovic. On the wing, Richardson. And a miss there on the triple. And Porzingis has got the ball here for the Boston Celtics. Just over two and a half minutes played now. Final quarter of regulation. Horford. Oh, Horford! And Horford. Uh, that boy, he, knows, he knows how to dive aggressively to the basket off the pick. Expects the pass. That's difficult to guard. And they've won the battle on the board so far, and the scoreboard reflects that. Yeah, it's not just about stopping the offense in the scouting report. It's about knowing where to be when those shots are going to be missed. And they're doing a nice job on the rebounding. Here's Brown, rebounded by Jovic. Perfect timing to rise up and challenge the shot inside. Yeah, not easy to do there, and that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively Butler. very Butler. seriously. He's this low. Terry Mojita Burrow. Timeout, Celtics. Austin calls time here. And you know, there's so much coaching turnover in the NBA, Brent. Why do you think that is? If you examine VA, some of those changes Look at the ownership changes that has happened within two or three seasons of a coach being released from his duties from a team. So these owners want to put into place maybe the style of play that they want from a different coach. And when that happens, it's about results and about those results being too immediate. It's causing a lot of change and it, it makes that job a little bit more tenuous than it was in the past. And some changes here for the Celtics. Change substitution for, for the Boston Celtics. Holiday, for number four. And Miami with a Drew Holiday. And uh, number zero, Jason Tatum. To Tatum. That one falls. Jason Tatum. Holiday's got a and Drew Holiday. seven tonight for Miami. They've gone four of seven from the field in the fourth quarter. Pass to Adebayo. 
Nice move. Oh, it's blocked by Porzingis. And shooters must beware. Porzingis is down there lurking. Jason Tatum. Loving right now. It is because of the beautiful ball distribution. Robinson on the wing. A good dunk in Robinson. Robinson. The Celtics have gone eight of nine here in the fourth quarter. Holiday passes to Porzingis. Brown with it. Butler covering. And the Jalen Brown! Oh. Drew Holiday. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense. Man. Pass to Robinson. The three. And that Duncan one Robinson for the three. Bucket at eight tries. Hey, whatever coach told him during the break is beginning to pay off. White with it. Side Porzingis. 14 feet away. Jason Tatum. Porzingis has got his third assist of the night. For Miami, they've gotten six of ten attempts to drop in the fourth quarter. Rozier, pass to Butler. Offline with a three. Boston's gotten six of Two minutes remaining in the fourth. Two minutes. Here's Tatum. That one goes. Jason Tatum. In the second half. Or Drew Holiday. Moves. Sometimes you forget he's 6'8. He's got great size, putting it to use down low. Up the floor. Jason Tatum! From Derek White. The steal was slick. The slam popped it off. And we say it time and time again, so I'll repeat it. I have to be careful with the ball, or this is what happens. Here's Robinson. Boston with a rebound. Tatum's got seven rebounds in the game. And you can see how scary this team can be when everything is clicking for them. Just a terrific performance for the Celtics. And you don't usually see this kind of blowout. But Drew Holiday! I mean, what's so Jason Tatum. They never wavered in their approach. They just kept at it and showed they were without a doubt the better team. And give them credit for what will be their 38th win of the year. That'll put a little extra meaning on their next game. No team wants to go 0 for 4 against an opponent, no matter who it is. And even the opposing fans can't deny this was a sensational game for Jason Tatum. And this was a showcase night of his skills offensively. Pass to Holiday. Outside, Brown. Five to shoot. Back to Holiday. Late clock. The Celtics got to hurry here. Takes a 13-footer. Drew Holiday. Strong. This is how you shut the door on any hopes of a comeback. Yeah, definitely putting a stamp on this one. A very, very decisive victory for the club tonight. Here's Robinson. Pass to Jovic to end the run. Rebound Boston. Well, the D really getting away with one there. No one on him. And that's going to be good nine out of ten times. Shot clock and game clock. One second differential. Tatum feeling it out a bit. And here's White. Butler covering. And they shot the ball. Violation. violation. Great deal. Miami ball. Substitution on the court. Gallup Morgan. And Josh Richardson. That's the end of the game. Your final score, Boston Celtics, 97, and Miami Heat, 63. And the energy in this building was awesome. The crowd was involved from the jump. And once they started to really move it on, it was fun to see how it all came together. And I'm now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thank you very much. Jalen, you had it going. Can you talk about the confidence you had tonight? I'm just trying to continue to show people what I can do, continue to get better. Um, it's a long journey, it's a process. I still got a long way to go and a lot to learn, so I'm gonna just keep going up. It's all part of the journey. Thanks, Jalen. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. Well, folks, that's gonna do it for now. For Brent Barry, Grant Hill, and Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thank you for watching this 2K Sports presentation of the NBA. We'll see you next time.
right, Brian, thank you very much. As this one is all turned to be a win out for the Celtics. You know that's crazy because Kai Pei really got in the block out of anybody that you could find out about, about him. He's been throwing up in great and then made the fraction out of it. He's on the team. Glad to be happy enough here with the team for the franchise player. You know what? I was never crazy about that game. You know, I thought Jimmy Butler would have been able to take all of his credit if he makes another three. That would have been, like, sick. Well, in that case right now, this is whatever happens because they can't mess this up with the team like they did. Here's how they did with the total statistic guys with 70 of the field goal percentage for the Celtics. Only 36 percentage for the three-pointers for Miami Heat. 87 for free throws for the Boston Celtics with fast break points of 8 and 54 and 6 for points in pint and second chance points for the Boston Celtics. Van bench points was given to 18 points for Miami Heat and it was 38 for assist in here by Boston Celtics. Then it was 7 offensive rebounds, 29 defensive rebounds. Then it was 4 steals and 4 blocks, sorry 3 blocks. For Boston Celtics. They've been on the crushing out of their guy. Four turnovers were been really putting the points off between the even and up. Three team fouls were even and four dunks were even up as also. 34 percentage of the, the biggest lead for the Celtics and 1505 for Boston Celtics on time of possession. Well it's been great actually. <laughs> well I guess you have it all coming down there folks. You may never guess it. Now it's time to reset your three star players of the game. Start it up with you, Terry. You take it away. All right, thank you very much. That's right now, we start things up for the third star player. We're going to start this one from here, and this one will go right straight towards Jimmy Butler with 18 points, two rebounds, and he only had made that one within five assists of the game. Then it was seven out of 11 field goal range, two three pointers were given, one open look. And definitely made it all the way down for each corner to corner. And it was only 31 performance effort. A turn to be all for Jimmy tonight. Now let's send to number two. As I send it over to Whitspoon. Jordan Brown has got 23 points with seven rebounds and five assists of each guy. He only had made 10 out of 12 field goal range, one three-pointer, and only had one dunk and 34 performance run. Well, guys, for Jalen Brown, he's an excellent pro dynamic with the Celtics, and they're really up toward the challenge. And for number one, center based, well, Jason Tatum, your New Balance player of the game, 30 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists, and it only happened to be 14 out of 18 field goals, 2 three pointers, and it was only one dunk that has performed at the end of a quarter nearing the regulation of the period. 38 performances was turning to be outstanding. You can't let him get away with Jason Tatum. And that's going to do for a regular season of all the completions of the NBA 2K24. And right now, in this instant, we are heading on to the postseason. Yes, sir. Let's go. <laughs> you know, because everyone does know that they are ready for the postseason. Each game, we're coming for you next. So we be sure to stick around here for the next part of, of the NBA postseason of the playoffs, varying between by right, running through eight of the range in Eastern and Western Conference after the NBA play-in tournaments. This will be the next day that we'll get to the point and move it on to the next. So without me, Terry Crews, and Wood Spoonie, we hope you had a blast and have enjoyed your lifetime of the moment of the NBA of 2K Sports. We'll see you next time, and we'll see you on the postseason on the other hand. And as for all of you being said, thanks for watching for the regular season, and hope to see you for the next season of the game, for a new teams. Because we have something to surprise for you, and we'll see which what team goes with next. So, you'll stay tuned. I'll see you guys in the postseason, and then the playing tournament will be complete, and heading to start the playoff draw. So I'm going to peace out of here. Peace out, folks, for a while. It's the NBA on 2K Sports Style. Have a wonderful evening in Boston and Miami Vice of the Heat. Goodbye for now. If you don't, if you don't.
somebody will.